All right, we're getting a good view outside. And you see not a ton of clouds out there right now, but that's going to be increasing as we go into these overnight hours. We're already cooling off quickly, getting down to that freezing mark. So if we do start to see some precipitation, it's definitely going to be in the form of maybe freezing rain or those snow flurries. As we compare to the last 24 hours, though, you can see last night we were way down there, about that 20 degree mark. Then as we got that daytime heating going, we warmed up a little bit into that 40 degrees is about where we topped out. And we're already starting that cool down. Like I said, already down to that freezing mark. So getting very cold once again tonight. As we look out there right now, we're sitting at 32 degrees here in San Angelo, 38 still in Junction, then 36 in Brady, and then a couple more freezing marks on the map. And as we look at the entire region out there, you can see 30s across the board with some of those warmer temperatures hanging on around that junction area where they're seeing a little bit more humidity still. Then we've got 32 here in San Angelo, 30 degrees up in Sterling City as well as Barnhart. So a couple of us even below that freezing mark, which is where they're starting to see some of that precipitation first. As we look at this dew point and relative humidity, humidity map, though, we're seeing those relative humidities, 38% in Junction versus 53% up in Sterling City, while those dew points are around that low 9 degree to up to those mid-teens there. So we're seeing some influx of moisture going into these overnight hours, but that's going to be increasing even more going into tomorrow as we look at this. Planning this out, you can see the surge of moisture coming up from the south. That's what's really going to be aiding those rain chances going into tomorrow and looking at a very rainy Sunday pretty much the entire day across the Concho Valley. And then we've still got some of that moisture hanging out, which as we see those upper level disturbances work in, really going to be helping out those rain chances as well. And looking at this on the upper level pattern where we're going to see that energy working into the area. We've been looking at this trough all week, and it's unfortunately still sticking with us going into this next week. It's going to be feeding these rounds of energy into that Tuesday, Wednesday time frame, giving us a little bit of a break there on Thursday, but then by that Friday, Saturday time frame, we're already looking at that next wave of, moisture, of energy and moisture working into the area, some more rain, and looking at a pretty active weather pattern going into this week. Looking at the satellite and radar in the national picture, you can see the main source of that circulation up there by that Washington area, just pretty much flooding the entire western United States here with a lot of mess there on the satellite and radar, even starting to work its way into the Concho Valley. And as we look at the current radar out there, not a ton in the area right now, but we are starting to see some of those drizzles off towards Midland and even a little bit of that freezing rain working its way into Crockett County there over by Ozona. So looking at this on the future cast, trying to time this out, we're going to see those clouds increase going into these overnight hours, as well as possibly some passing showers and freezing rain, along with those potential for snow flurries, especially by those morning hours. You can see we've got this blue, green, and pink. That's going to be a whole mix of the winter weather going into the morning. But then as we get that daytime heating going, that rain is quickly going to take over and keep with us pretty much the entire day Sunday. So make sure to keep that rain gear handy, those umbrellas and rain jackets, as we're going to see that rain stick around until Monday morning, even just a few lingering showers, then looking at a better Monday for the Concho Valley. Tonight, though, we're looking at going to be getting pretty cold into those upper 20s, if not down to those mid-20s tonight. Mostly cloudy skies, and we could see that passing precipitation that could form in the form of freezing rain or snow flurries. Tomorrow, getting up to that 43 degree mark with a, a rainy day in store for the Concho Valley, so keep that rain gear on hand. And as we look at the seven-day forecast, you can see these rounds of moisture working their way into the area as we also see this warm-up going from those 40s to those 60s. But like I said, those rounds of energy working in, so going to be an active pattern this week. That's all for your seven-day forecast, but now we'll head on back to Maya.